Hi everyone, let me ask you something. Does cilantro taste like shampoo to you? Well, if so, you are one of the 4 to 14 percent of the population who has a special gene called OR6A2. Are you interested? Then stay tuned. Cilantro, also known as coriander or Chinese parsley, it is a zesty herb belonging to the carrot family with roots. It is one of the world's oldest herbs and has been used since ancient times. Over 2,000 years ago, cilantros could be found flourishing in the famous Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Ancient Hebrews used cilantro in their traditional Passover meals. The seeds of this plant have even been found in ancient Egypt tombs. Coriander even makes an appearance as an aphrodisiac in the tales of the Arabian Nights. Cilantro made its way over to the Americas in the 1600s when the British first brought it over. By the way, the word cilantro comes from the Spanish word coriander. Both the plant and the seeds are used in Mexican, Indian, Middle Eastern, Asian, Mediterranean, Latin America, African, and even Scandinavian cuisine. Coming back to soap taste in cilantro. Well, it turns out to be real for some people, and there's a scientific reason behind it. How interesting. The link between genetics and cilantro flavor was first identified when researchers found that 80% of identical twins share a like or dislike of the herb. Studies on the perceived flavor of cilantro have found that between 4% and 14% of the tasters think the leaves taste like soap or taste rotten. Dislike for cilantro varies among ethnic groups, with 12% of East Asians, 17% of Caucasians, and 14% of persons of African descent expressing aversion to cilantro. A study done in 2012, which looked at almost 30,000 people, found that there might be a specific gene in the olfactory centers in our brains for some people. Further investigation showed that an olfactory receptor gene called OR6A2 makes a person sensitive to the organic compounds, the aldehydes, and it is responsible for the distinct flavor. People who express this gene find the smell of unsaturated aldehydes offensive. Additionally, they can't smell the pleasant aromatic compounds. The good news is that unlike certain genetic variances, like height or eye color, our perceptions of cilantro can change over time. If you are sensitive to it, one suggestion is to try crushing the cilantro leaves before eating them, for example, in a pesto. This process releases enzymes that convert the soapy compounds into milder ones. Other genes also affect the sense of smell and taste. For example, having a gene that codes for increased perception of bitterness also contributes to a dislike for cilantro. So, are there any other plants that have a soapy flavor? Well, a variety of unsaturated aldehydes contribute to cilantro's aroma and flavor. However, the terpene alcohol called linalool is the one most associated with cilantro. Linalols exist as two enantiomers or optical isomers, meaning that the two forms of the compounds are mirror images of each other. The one found in cilantro is S plus linalool, which has the common name coriandrol. Coriandrol is found in lemongrass and sweet orange. The other isomer is R minus linalool, commonly known as licariol. Licariol is found in baby laurel, sweet basil, and lavender. The soapy flavor of lavender is so pronounced that even people who like cilantro often reject to lavender-flavored food and drinks. Hops, oregano, and marijuana are similarly high in linalool and taste like dishwater to some people. If you're sensitive to the soapy flavor of cilantro, other plants may also smell and presumably taste like a shower stall. Yuck! Now, here's a fun fact about cilantro. Although the leaves and dried seeds are most commonly used in cooking, the whole plant is actually edible. That's right, from the leaves to the stems, roots, and seeds, all of it. Some Belgian beer breweries use cilantro with orange peel to add citrus and undertones to their beer. Finally, what country produces the most cilantro? Well, the answer is Mexico is the largest exporter of cilantro. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.